In this current upheaval, which we're calling the Great Emergence, there's no question that technology uh, has been a, a huge part of the upheaval. The very fact that we can speak to each other across the globe and do so within a matter of 30 seconds, uh, the fact that we can go back into archives that previously would have been shut to all of us or to most of us except credential scholars, we can go in and we can get information, uh, we can read the Church Fathers as we were never able to do in the past, we can investigate current scholarship, we can swap ideas, we can talk to experts with a simple punch of a button. All of that has enabled uh, the emergence. But I, I must also say of the emergence that it also has enabled cognitive science, which is to say that increasingly we don't understand quite how we think in all of this information age. We're not sure what thinking is or consciousness is. And that too, that central question of uh, if we do all of these things, if computers can do all of these things, uh, what what really is consciousness? Who are we? Uh, where do we differ from the machine? Where is the brain or the mind uh, in, in relation to the body? That too has been a huge part uh, as we become more and more sophisticated, more and more globalized, more and more familiar with each other, more and more in contact. Uh, we've become uh, more and more uh, curious about exactly what it is as individuals that we are and what is a group, as a clumping group of people, what does it mean when you have open source theory? What does it mean when you have net, the field net theory, uh, field theory operative? Those are central questions that are driving not only the great emergence, but certainly and particularly emergent and emerging Christianity.